Last look at this morning's weather. What's your favourite number, Carol? Definitely three, but not when we're talking temperatures, Sally. That would be a wee bit cold. Actually, some parts of the UK fell to three degrees last night. So if you are stepping out, then do bear that in mind. It's a cold start to the day. But for many of us, we're looking at sunny spells and breezy conditions and also just a few showers. Now, at the moment, you can see the wind direction is coming from the northwest just by the, looking at the direction of the isobars. It's breezy. The isobars are quite close together. High pressure building in from the south is keeping things settled till later on in the day when we'll see a weather front coming into the west introducing rain. But there have been quite a few showers around, most of them now in the North Sea. Still a packet coming in towards the west. There's a cluster at the moment which is quite heavy around Manchester. Now, as we go through the course of the day, many, but not all, of the showers will tend to fade away. They'll be heavy and possibly thundery with hail across northwest Scotland. And we're looking at sunny spells or, at worst, bright spells. And by bright spells, I mean at times there will be a bit more cloud around. So that's the scenario across the southwest of England. In fact, that's the scenario across southern counties of England generally through Essex and Kent into East Anglia, the Midlands, heading up into northern England. Most of us will have a dry day with those sunny spells a few of us will see some showers. One or two showers getting over to eastern parts of Scotland, but much of eastern Scotland dry. But we still will have the heavier showers across the northwest and a bit more cloud across western Scotland than yesterday. As we head into Northern Ireland, again, largely dry, but the cloud will be building in from the north. And for Wales, you've got a cracking afternoon ahead of you. Again, a fair bit of sunshine. So through the evening and overnight period, under the clear skies, temperatures will drop and in the south in particular, low enough for a touch of frost. Something to be aware of if you have been planting recently. Meanwhile, our weather front comes in across northern Scotland and also northern Ireland. It will be heavy and persistent in the northwest and it will start its descent southwards, introducing some patchy rain across the borders and through Cumbria. So we start with that tomorrow. Again, we've got a, a wet and a cloudy day for Scotland, northern England and northern Ireland. The rain on and off at times. Whereas for England and for Wales, any mist or fog that's formed overnight will quite quickly clear. And after a bright start, we'll see more cloud encroach southwards through the day. Maximum temperatures up to about 16 degrees. Then for Thursday, here's our weather front. So you can see it's in no great hurry to get down towards the south. On either side of it, drier and brighter with a little bit of sunshine and temperatures up to 16 degrees. Now the outlook from Thursday into the early part of next week is fairly settled. There will be some sunshine around. At times there'll be weak weather fronts crossing us, which will introduce just a little bit of rain, Billy and Sal. Carol, thanks very much. Sorry, we